Guys, it is finally here. MLB The Show 19 season is on the horizon. As yesterday, MLB The Show decided to drop their gameplay trailer for MLB The Show 19. So basically, in this video, I'm going to be going over a bunch of screenshots, um, or a lot of the important screenshots that I took from the trailer. Uh, we have five confirmed legends. Um, we're going to be going over like the snippets from uh, the Road to the Show clips, and then we'll be going to Franchise and Diamond Dynasty, obviously. We'll go over the Legends, and then we're also going to go over the developer's content stream schedule. Alright, so let's just go ahead and kick it off with the, uh, with the gameplay trailer. So, in this first screenshot right here, this is, I believe, the first major clip that we see, um, aside from like a couple of seconds of gameplay. But by the looks of this, this looks like this is going to be the first screen that you will see when you're creating your player for Road to the Show. And honestly, this looks so much nicer than in years past, because as you can see, um, you know, there's no more mindless scrolling, th like, having to toggle through like 20 different menus. Uh, hopefully the batting stances and other menus are like this as well, um, because that's also annoying as hell. But yeah, um, you know, it looks like they added a couple of new uh, regions. Looks like the USA is a new region. Um, at sea, that looks, ve that sounds very new. Um, I don't know if that's like a term for like the Navy or the Army or whatever. But yeah, this looks like the brand new layout for, uh, this looks like a pretty new layout for uh, Road to the Show, and honestly, it looks clean as hell. And speaking of clean as hell, we're gonna move right on. We're gonna keep moving right along, boys. All right, so this next screen is going to be the archetype screen, so this does confirm that archetypes are indeed coming back to Road to the Show in MLB The Show 19. Um, you know, honestly, I feel kind of indifferent about them. I'm continuing the guy that I made in MLB The Show 16, um, or MLB The Show 17. But yeah, basically, um, this looks like flame, th this is, this one is flamethrower. It looks like this is going to be, uh, one of the archetypes for pitchers this year. I'm not, I think it was in the game last year. Um, they might have completely revamped the system though. And when I was looking at this screenshot earlier, I couldn't tell if there's like any overall ratings um, but those numbers in the middle I'm not sure if you can tell in between the uh, the stat category and what and uh, and the strength that it's at but as you can see like next to the K9 there's a 50 next to the slot velo uh, the slot one velo there's an 80 um, I I don't know if that's like their uh, I don't know if that's going to be like a if that's like a grade or the overall rate or the highest overall rating you can cap it out to or if you can get past that i assume you can get past 50 50 k's per nine assuming that you know flamethrowers are known for striking people out but but i mean you never know it's 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 mlb the show guys all right but yeah archetypes are indeed coming back to the game and uh you know, honestly, I'm kind of indifferent. Again, I'm kind of indifferent about it. Moving right along to the next screenshot that we saw for Road to the Show. They just threw Road to the Show right at the beginning and kept a lot of the Diamond Dynasty things towards the end to keep us hooked onto the thing because marketing, all right? Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, this looks like a little like tree diagram almost. Um, there are four different sections that you can looks like there are like four different sections that you can try to uh, that you can try to achieve you have lightning rod maverick heart and soul and captain um, if we go back to that previous if we go back to one of the previous road to the show screens you can probably see that it says uh, that right next to the archetype screen it says personality this is might be what it's hinting towards guys um, you know it looks like there might be a bunch of different a bunch of different ways that you can go with your personality type so if you want to be more of like a uh, like a Manny Machado type who lacks hustle and just puts up who just puts up numbers and wants money or if you want to be more so of like a more so of like a laid-back type kind of guy or if you want to be that leader that takes your guys over the top you know that this is might be the, this might be the kind of system that they're trying to run here guys um, but let's see if we look over here uh, let's see you can reset selected perks all right, so the so normal perk effects it says captain boosted perk effects become available 
when equipped and additional boost criteria were met. All right, and this is the commander in chief perk it looks like. I don't know what that does. Um, yeah, who, so yeah, this looks like this might be like, uh, again, just a way to, instead of giving the, uh, inst a way to like give you guys perks for your, uh, to your road to the show character. So you know like how Diamond Dynasty guys have their perks. Um, you know, like their PCI grows on an O2 counter when they're in a, when they're ahead in the count. It might be something like that, but you know, we're going to be learning a lot more about the, a lot, about Road to the Show when they stream that content on their schedule, which we will talk about later. And moving on to the next screenshot, this one is actually a bit of a big one, boys. Um, as you guys can see, there is a but that looks like a team in the background and there's a man who's doing bench press and there's an L1 and an R1, a time, a score and a green bar or a bar over to the left. So I think they may have taken the idea from 2K, all right, from 2K's my career mode that you can walk that when you go into the gym or that when you want to upgrade a certain attribute um you can you can you actually have to perform the act of doing it all right so that that's actually a very interesting concept i'm not sure exactly how it's going to work out but it seems very interesting nonetheless because if you guys remember uh for mlb the show 18 they introduced the uh, caps and uh you know it's like oh you can have a 90 cap now but you can move it up to a 91 um if you if you go to a certain training thing all right so i think this is basically what that is um, but you're actually performing the training act, all right? That seems very interesting. And then the final, uh, the final screenshot that I found from Road to the Show is this one right here. It says missions al mission always punctual, and it's a dynamic challenge. So it sounds, so it looks like um, dynamic challenges will be coming to uh, to Road to the Show next year, all right? So if you guys, so I think what they're going, I think what they're going for in this one is um they're just random mission they're they're just random missions that pop up on your screen in the middle of a game all right so it could be like to boost your uh what does it say here it it, it says base gains plus 75 percent uh, up to a, uh 150 and you have to swing on time for a hit to get that 75 percent bonus um you know again we don't know exactly all what this means guys um, but I'm just assuming that this will help you. This will be another way for your guy to uh, to boost his stats in game, aside from the uh, aside from the normal way, like actually playing. As you guys can see in the screenshot, also he increased his plate vision in the last appearance, um, or he took a ball or something. But yeah, it looks like looks like dynamic challenges are coming to the game. How they're going to be implemented, I don't know, but seems interesting nonetheless. I'm going to go a little out of order here, um, just because I want to save the Diamond Dynasty and the, uh, the Confirmed Legends for last, just to just to keep you guys in shock, or if you, I mean, you guys have probably already seen it everywhere, but yeah, I just wanted to, I just want to tell you guys my reactions and all that fun stuff uh, towards the end, but this screenshot right here is going to be a screenshot from Franchise Mode, guys, that is correct, um, you know, this is the only snippet of franchise that we have seen so far. Um, we do. I ended up looking at the developer schedule, and there looks like they are making a couple of other improvements. Um, they might. They're probably going to talk about it in a stream at some point. Um, but yeah, basically, looking at that, just taking away, just taking it away from this screenshot. What I'm basically what I'm seeing is that they're basically revamping the way that teams are ranked. Um, because if you guys if you guys uh, have played franchise the past couple of years, there's been it, it's been the the trade engine has been so weird because a lot of times, for example, the fav let's look at the favorites category. the the Dodgers will end up making a trade with the with the Cubs for some reason. and they both be, you know, leading in their division and it just doesn't really make much sense. Um, so I think this is a way for SDF. I think this is a way for, um, for teams, for uh, competitor or contenders and favorites to stop trading with each other and to trade with guys like the underdogs and the long shots. All right, it, you know the the as we all know the trading engine and the sim engine and the contract engine is very very strange in franchise mode. Hopefully they end up fixing that a little bit this year. 
Um, but you know, just taking a look at this screenshot, I'm glad that they added this in there. So, uh, so yeah, franchise mode is getting a little bit of a, a little bit of a shout out in this trailer. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Diamond Dynasty, guys. So in this one, there was a lot of hit. There was a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of different, uh, a lot of different things that made the that made your gears start turning a little bit. You know, try to get you thinking, get you talking with the community. You know, start to create some buzz for the game. All right. So in this screenshot right here, as you can see. Um, we have four players on the screen. I, I can't remember exactly during the trailer uh, if there were four or five players, but regardless, in this screenshot, there are four players. And and we have Buster Posey, Yoenis Cespedes, Ozzy Albies, and Trevor Story, all of them being live series golds. And if you guys are wondering why the card design is like this, like, oh, why is the why is the last name above the, the first name? That's because that's the way Topps uh, decided to design the cards this year. And SDS doesn't have any control over that because they do have a deal with tops and that's basically every single card aside from like the immortals and the player of the month guys that you see in the game. But anyways, so this, so here's the interesting part about this. So it says round one of one and picks remaining in this round is one. So what I'm taking away from this screenshot and you can probably see down in the bottom right hand corner it says choice pack choice packs have been confirmed for mlb the show 19 so we will be getting those um yeah if you guys if you guys aren't aware this is something that madden i believe implemented this year um i can't remember if they did it last year because i i haven't played since like madden 16 or something um or like madden 17 it doesn't matter but yeah anyways <laughs> Um, choice packs are coming into the game. They will be brand new. And honestly, this sounds, this is going to be a very interesting way of, of, uh, pack openings because, you know, it's going to, it's, it's probably going to entice people to buy packs a lot more because it's not like you're going to be, it's not like you're going to be opening a, a standard pack and you're going to be for, you're like forced to, Get this card and you're like oh i wanted this guy it's like if you get if you get this guy that you pulled from a standard pack and a guy that you actually wanted you can in, in the same pack for the choice pack you can pick the guy that you actually wanted all right this is actually a very interesting concept and i hope that they actually follow through with this and the next screenshot that i'm going to talk about is going to be this one right here and you're probably wondering zach this is a conquest map what is so special about it just take a look at this, all right? So you guys know Conquest and how boring it's been the pa ever since they introduced it to the game, right? So, you know, it's always been the basic map of map of the USA in the upper upper part of Canada where Toronto plays. And they threw and and they basically threw you in the middle of like Wyoming or South Dakota, and you had to conquer the entire map in order to get like a a bunch of special rewards, all right? So, after looking at the schedule and what they had planned, what they have planned to explain, and after looking at the trailer, I believe they are going to be bringing in multiple conquest maps into the game next next year. That is correct, guys. I believe that multiple multiple styles of maps are going to be implemented next year. So, so obviously they're they're probably going to bring back the basic the the basic one, you know, just the the whole map of America. And the one that we've that the one that we've gotten used to over the years, but you know, looking at this 19, there's probably going to be a special reward that you get for completing this kind of a for completing this kind of a map. You know, there could be this 19 one. You know, they might have another one shaped like a shaped like a team's logo or one shaped like a baseball. You know, like there are so many different directions that this could go. There could probably be up in upwards of like 10 maps, guys, that we could end up conquering. Um, so, you know, like instead of having to clear your board and having to do uh, having to do Conquest Destiny and Conquest Extreme, nobody wants to do that. They're going to probably give us brand new maps and oh my god, that is so exciting and such a refreshing idea. Like nobody would have thought of that. That's the crazy thing. Nobody would have thought of that. And then finally for Diamond Dynasty, the last snippet that I saw was this snap right here. And it's a, it looks like a it looks like a programs tab for Diamond Dynasty, all right. And it says, 
Uh, this is about Babe, Ru Babe Ruth's career, and the description reads, Relive the career of the greatest baseball player of all time, Babe Ruth. Pitch in the World Series, break home run records, and cement Ruth's leg legacy. And your reward progress is uh, your is uh, 75,000 uh, XP, along with 10,000 stubs. And that 10,000 stubs is exciting for me personally, because... Um, because that means stub count, that means stub totals uh, are going to go up for rewards, which is always a great thing. Because this year it felt impossible to make stubs, even though I've done more in this game than any other Diamond Dynasty game in my life. But anyways, um, you know, at first I thought when I first recorded this video, I thought it was going to be a career arc. But now that I'm sitting back and looking at it, this might be the career. This might be the my career missions from MLB The Show 17 being rebranded as career missions uh, for e for individual players, all right? Now, they're, now they could be career arcs, you know, there's, I don't know how to take this, all right? So take it one of two ways. Either one, these are career arcs and it could be hinting at immortals being taken away and instead of, instead of calling them immortals, we're just gonna be calling them career arcs. Um, or this could be the My Career Missions because it says pitch in the World Series, break home run records, and so it says break home run records, guys. Like, this sounds like, this honestly sounds like uh, My Career Missions from MLB The Show 17, where they said, oh, if you hit 300 home runs, you'll get 25,000 stubs. All right, now the, now it's on, obviously not, not going to be 25,000 stubs. Um, but, you know, this honestly might be an interesting way of, you know, making like keeping the game alive and making every game worth something and not having to be forced to use that stupid hit and quit method we've all been using all year long and then obviously you guys can also see the other ones with the career and the question marks i'm assuming those are going to be for different players so there might be one for like um for like ken griffey jr there's probably going to be one for jackie robinson nolan ryan probably tom Seaver. Uh, you know, Billy Wagner potentially. You know, there's so many different ways this could go. So I, I'd say I take it one of two ways. Either the my career missions are returning as individual player career missions, and we're getting, and that's how we can get, and that's how we get stubs. Or they're coming back as career arcs, which could hint at uh, MLB the Show completely getting rid of the abomination known as Immortals. Now we are going to move on to the moment you all have been waiting for and it and the and the question that you guys have been asking since like I don't know since the beginning of the year and that is what new legends are confirmed for MLB the show 19. Well boys, I finally have an answer. The community finally has an answer and we have 5 confirmed legends for next year's game, all right? And I'm going to be going over them in chronological order. Um, you know, there's not, I'm not really going to be sugarcoating anything. Um, you know, I'm just going to go over them as briefly as I can because, you know, I don't want to, I really don't want to waste your time with this because I still have to go over the stream schedule. So the first legend that was uh, showcased in the game this, or in the, in the trailer this year is boom, here he is. You see the number zero, you see the last name Matthewson on the jersey, you see the pinstripes of the Groundbreakers uniforms, that is correct, that is Christy Matthewson, starting pitcher from the dead ball era. So he is confirmed to be entering MLB The Show next year. And honestly, I was going to end up throwing him on a uh, on a legend wish list. And because one of the two old timers that I really wanted in the game were two of the old timers I wanted were Christy Matthewson and Lefty Grove. All right. And Christy Matthewson, for the time being, is the only one confirmed so far. Lefty Grove could come into the game later. He could get revealed. Um, we, ju we just don't know. But yeah, Christy Matthewson is coming to the show. This next one is a little bit interesting, guys, because everybody was questioning who this was. Everybody in the community is questioning, like, oh, is this X, Y, or Z, you know? Uh, you know, we, we don't know who this guy is um, because we can't see, because we cannot see the last name or the number on his jersey. Um, but I'm taking a, I'm taking a very, very, uh, almost guarantee guess, 
Um, that doesn't make, that's very counterintuitive, but you guys get what I'm going for. Um, I believe this is Ty Cobb, guys. Um, you know, another dead ball era legend, probably, arguably the greatest contact hitter of all time, pure contact hitter of all time. Um, you know, everybody was debating, they're like, oh, is this Ty Cobb or is this Carl Yastrzemski? Here's the differentiating factor between why I think it's Ty, or why it is Ty Cobb and not Carl Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski played in the 60s and 70s, all right, and that is that is more so of an ex, that is more so of the expansion era um, of baseball. So that's when that's when the MLB started getting brand new teams and all that stuff. It's just the years that he played in, guys, all right? There's nothing to it. And the other thing that I noticed was the jersey that Ty Co that this player is wearing. He's wearing the G, he has a big gold GB over his chest, and that stands for the Groundbreakers. And if you guys don't know, the Groundbreakers in MLB The Show are the dead ball era guys, the guys who played from the early 1900s to like the late 1930s. Um, you know, early 1940s-ish, around until up, up until around World War II. Um, you know, that's the deciding factor for me, guys. Like, there's, like, Carl Yastrzemski, you know, as much as I'd love to see him, and he could still come into the game. That's the funny thing, is he's not, we're not counting him out. He's also a right-handed glove. That's another thing that gave it away. Um, but yeah, just the fact that he's a groundbreaker, I'm convinced that this is Ty Cobb. Plus, it looks like he's playing more towards center field. And as we all know, Ty Cobb was for the mo for the majority a center fielder. Um, but yeah, I believe Ty Cobb has also been confirmed to be coming to MLB The Show 19. The next guy we ended up seeing was uh, another guy who I was considering putting on my on one of my legend wish lists. But now that he is confirmed, he will not be uh, making it on there. As you guys can see, number 18, and the last name is Kendall. I believe this is Jason Kendall, former catcher of the Pittsburgh Pirates, or he's known for his time with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, oh my God, thank the Lord, we're getting another catcher. I was looking at his stats earlier, and honestly, he was never really much of a, he was never really much of a contact guy. So um, he's gonna be lacking a little bit of power. The most home runs that he, he only hit, um, Let's see, yeah, he only hit 75 career home runs in 15 years, and the, the highest that he ever hit was 14 in the in uh, 2000. And, um, but honestly, his bat, he had a 288 career batting average, guys. Um, you know, the guy, like the guy could hit for contact, so he's gonna be a great contact guy. I'm not sure if his fielding is gonna be anything too spectacular because he didn't really, he didn't win any gold gloves. Um, you know, I haven't even really looked at his defensive stats either. But, um, but yeah, Jason Kendall is coming to the show, and the final guy before we get to the big, huge legend reveal at the very end of the trailer, this one was the most obvious. You, got, you saw the last name, and you were like, oh, this guy's a legend. Honestly, I had never heard of the guy up until this trailer, and this guy, number 49, is, his last name is Dibble. We are talking about the former relief pitcher of the Cincinnati Reds, Rob Dibble. All right, I had to do a little bit of research on this guy. Um, he's only a two-time All-Star. He only did play for seven years. Um, you know, I'm not sure why. I'm assuming just because of injuries. Uh, but he did win the World. He did win a World Series, and he was the NLCS M and NLCS MVP, guys. So you know, like he's he seems like a very fitting legend for this kind of a game, because you know it's like. Because it's like they like throwing in a bunch of the classic guys like Babe Ruth and Ken Griffey Jr. and Ted Williams and all those guys, but they also like to throw in guys who get like who get like pushed under the radar like the uh, like the Rob Dibbles and the Jason Kendalls of the world. Um, but yeah, it looks but I was looking at his 1990 season where he uh, had a 174 ERA in 98 innings with how many saves again? Only 11 saves. Um, but yeah, overall, like, this guy will be a really good relief pitcher, uh, for the game. So welcome to the show, Rob Dibble. And finally, guys, the final legend that was revealed. We all expected one giant drop, or one giant named to be dropped this year in MLB The Show, and we got one, and oh boy, was it a big splash. In the trailer, you just saw a pair of stirrup socks 
running towards center field and then you slowly see the camera pan up to a number 24 and then you see the historic behind the, the historic over the over the over the back no look catch uh, from none other than Willie Mays boys he is confirmed for MLB The Show 19. Oh my god, I cannot wait to get my hands on that card. He's going to be so freaking fun to use. Like, like what else what else is there to say about the man? He's one of the biggest names in all of baseball, one of the and arguably a top five player of all time. You know, at, he's definitely top ten all time, top five you can argue it. Alright, but but like Guys, I'm 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 shook right now. <laughs> like this is so ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, Willie Mays, welcome to the show. Oh my freaking god! Hey guys, post editing Zishwa here. I just I, I just decided to go ahead and let you guys know that I'm going to be doing the developer uh, or talking about the developer. Uh, stream schedule in a separate video just because we're already running over 25 minutes in this video as of me editing this thing already so uh, yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, the developer stream schedule will be broken down in a separate video um, just because it's also a part of a monster of its own and you know this video has already gone long enough and I didn't really want to keep you guys here but that's going to do it for this video guys make sure you guys smash that like button if you guys are as hyped for MLB the show 19 as I am because oh my god I don't know about you guys but I'm feeling I have new life in me like if you guys can't tell in the tone of my voice I'm I feel uh, I feel new. I feel like I have a purpose again, guys. All right. So make sure you guys smash that like button. All right. Also, if you guys want to keep up to date with the most with the with the latest MLB The Show 19 news, make sure you guys hit that like button and that bell notification so you guys know when a new video goes live. But I will make sure to let you guys know, um, you know about about the newest uh, the newest things that I hear from MLB The Show 19. So make sure you guys stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next one.